Hi YouTube, welcome back. Hope you guys are all doing well. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done a sit down video in my new bedroom. So that's fun. I need to get a chair and a tripod and I don't know if we'll ever use this background again. But yes, this is what's going on. So for today's video, I thought we'd do another girl talk one. You guys love it. I was gonna do a say or shot it with Mills, but I personally can't think of anything worse than drinking today. So I just thought we'd do a cute little girl talk one. Cause I love these videos, okay? So I put it on my Instagram, as per usual, got some weird requests. In fact, someone told me to stop pouting. No. So yeah, let's get right into it. See, the guys have sent in. My boyfriend still follows his ex-girlfriend. What should I do? Uh, dump. Definitely dump. Why would anyone want to do it? Unless they're like friends or from the same area or you're quite young. I personally would hate that so much I would combust in flames. I would definitely say something like, hello, what the f*** are you doing? That's a no-go from me. That's a big fat no-go. Do you have any tip for period cramps? Mine are so bad. Go. I genuinely think I have the worst cramps known to man. And the only thing I can do is like get into the fetal position. Like get on my knees and bend forward with a hot water bottle and just take so much paracetamol. Like I've not found a cure. Um, I went on the pill and I just like didn't have a break. But then when I did finally have a break. Oh. So I won't be doing that again. Just make yourself feel better if you want to eat, eat. If you want to just lay down for four hours, lay down. If you want to lay on the floor, do that. I feel like periods were here to test us, and so they shall. Just do anything you want to do, do you know what I mean? This is an ick. When boys wear football shirts when watching it on the TV, I don't know why that would be an ick. I'm like, I get it, you're not in the stadium. But listen, show your support, support your team. You could wear one too, and it could be really cute. It could be a little date night and get like hot dogs. Oh no, for me, that's not an ick. So I feel like you're being, you're looking for an ick as my mum would say. So let's just leave that. Let's give that one a bly, yeah. When he says he's too busy to be in a relationship, like what the f you said you wanted to make it work, he's basically telling you he doesn't want you. He just wants you there for all the other benefits that you may or may not be giving him. So sack him off, sack that little off. I don't think you can be too busy to be in a relationship. I think if you want to make it work, then you just make it work. I mean, you make time. Maybe you see them for an hour in the evening. Maybe you go with them on their busyness. I don't know what they're doing, but yeah. Oh my god. My boyfriend randomly showed up to my door on my birthday and broke up with me. That's horrific. That's actually such bad vibes. What would I do? I'd cry. I would sit in my room and cry for four days because that's actually horrific. That's really nasty. He's a bad person. Don't get back with him. And maybe on his birthday, go and pie him. Go egg his house. No, don't. Please don't do that. There's nothing you can do. Firm it. Cry. Be sick. Cry some more. Stay in your house for ten days. Like, unfortunately, he's awful, but karma will get him. Whatever's meant for you will be for you. He always, like, the world was telling you he is a waste man. So, get rid. Well, he's got rid of you, but. Is there anything I wish I knew before getting a boob job? I'm really considering getting one. Do you know what? The one thing, like, no one tells you, like, everyone's like, yeah, it's not that painful. Like, I went over the muscles, so it's a bit different. If you go under, I can't talk about that. But no one told me that when you wake up from your surgery, you are one big swollen mess, okay? My neck was out here. My armpits were like big vaginas. Like, they were so fat my back was exploding like every single part of me was just so swollen and obviously because you've just got your boobs done like you don't have a cleavage yet because your skin's really tight and i just looked down and there was just like this lump and i was like oh my god what have i done also when you first get them done they sit well minded i don't know if this is forever this is all what happened to me but they sit like really high like I thought I'd really done something wrong because they almost were on my neck. I almost had neck boobs, okay? But obviously they settle and you saw the aftercare. But yeah, no one warned me that you would be swollen. But apart from that, no. The only thing I would say is if you're going to get it done, then definitely wear like the supportive bra that they say. And also your men are wear the supportive bra like forever because those boobs aren't yours. So all boobs like droop. Gravity, like gravity's going to take its course. That's one thing I wish I did because mine have definitely drooped and I don't even do it to this day. Someone said, what do you do when you lose feelings for your boyfriend? I don't want to give up on us yet. That's really sad. Like that's a really horrible situation to be in. I remember like when I was like 18, that happened to me and I just like, the feelings just went and sometimes they do okay, but you shouldn't string someone along. Like that's not very nice because you could both be moving on with that chapter and being happy but then again sometimes I feel like it comes in waves like sometimes you just go off someone for a minute 
<laughs> I don't know, like that happened to me, like because it happened a few times. Like I really loved him, then I was like, no, I don't. And then I was like, yeah, I do. And I was just kind of riding it out. But then looking back, I feel like, no, I don't regret anything. But yeah, I feel like if it's really, if it's not phase and it's going on for a while, then maybe let's think about addressing the situation. Look, if it's not, look, might be right person, wrong time, which is a shitter as well. But you know, they could be happier as well. It's not just about you. Oh my god, I sound so wise imagine if i took my own advice imagine would i still sleep with my ex of eight years if he had a new girlfriend no absolutely not don't fucking do that no i wouldn't and you should not that's a big no he's got a new girlfriend he's not even with you and you had to convey his we're ending for a reason and if he's trying to put that on the table then what is going on there sir you can't have your cake and eat it do you know what i mean my opinion on situationships after a long-term relationship I did a five year situationship and I can tell you I got nothing fucking out of it. It was so bad. I wish I never did it, but we all have my mistakes. Um, so I actually don't really think situationships are great. Personally, I wouldn't also like if you come out of a long term relationship, like you need time for yourself, you know. Everything happens for a reason. I'm in my spiritual bag at the moment, I don't know if you can tell. Um, but I personally wouldn't like you're just gonna put yourself through like more shit. Why would you want to do that to yourself? Why don't you just have some time on your own? Learn to realise why you're unreal and then someone might come along and if they fucking don't, who cares? You don't need a relationship to be happy. Be happy on your own, you know? There's more to life than boys and girls and everything else. He's not making as much effort as he used to. Do you think he slept with someone else? Maybe, it's a very high possibility. Also, I feel like when people don't get what they want, they just go off it. So maybe you, like you weren't giving them what they wanted out of the situation or something. So yeah, but I feel like when the energy and the effort like starts to lack, then you just remove yourself. How to get over a break of two years, please. You are asking the wrong fucking person, mate. I don't know. They say time is a healer. But listen, like nothing I tell you, like I can't say, oh, what you have to do is count to 10, but like nothing I tell you will help you. The only thing that helps is time. So unfortunately, you just got to ride the wave. And the waves are shit. Don't let anyone tell you they're not. But once you get over the waves, then I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh my God, my boyfriend has his group chats on mute, so I can't see because they send in pics of girls they talk about. Ah! But yeah, but boys will be boys. Like it is shit. But imagine if he could read your girls' chat, like chat when you're chatting shit about him when he visits you off. It's the same. Because boys aren't like that. I mean, maybe some are, but boys can send in girls and stuff like whatever, whatever. He's probably doing it to protect you because he knows you get annoyed. But imagine if the boys could read our group chats when we're fuming. It's the same. It might even be worse. So actually, mute your girl chats. Mute all your bloody chats. No, I'm joking. Don't. For like in a relationship, you can just have them on. But he's probably doing you a favour. It is giving someone a second chance or is a good idea i feel like if you feel like you want to give them a second chance and do it i just personally feel like everyone should just do what they want to do don't care what anyone else thinks because they're not in the situation and do you know what yeah at the end of the day people's friends and that will get involved and pass comments they don't actually care it doesn't impact them their life their situations they're literally saying things just to say something at the end of the day just go with what makes you feel good like as long as you're not hurting anyone being awful if you want to give them a second chance give them a second chance if they fool you again then it's more for them and then you have to don't give a third chance. I mean, you can give as many as you want, do you know what I mean? I would give a million, probably, but it's because I'm a nice person. I miss my ex-boyfriend and can't stop crying. Yeah, some crying's good, though. Do you know what I do? Cry in the mirror, and it makes you cry even more. But yeah, like I said, it comes in waves, and if the wave is crying and screaming and throwing up, then that's the wave, unfortunately. There's no magic remedy for, like, when you feel shit about a breakup, like, there is no remedy apart from like maybe keep busy like if you can but if you don't feel like doing anything then don't do it oh my god my best friend slept with my boyfriend in three and a half years and won't stop trying to be friends again yeah that's guilt guilt will make you do that she wasn't a very good friend in the first place i personally wouldn't firm it i now think that she is a bad person i would have said something else of big brother if you got the tiffany thing but no um yeah no get rid just literally tell her i don't want to be friends with you because you are actually the worst person ever and you did the worst thing ever and you are just the worst i feel like when it's friends and they do that it's different because like they're kind of with you through the ups and the downs so for her to do that for him to do that is disgusting like you already know he's revolting but for her x her out get rid can't get over my situation even though i know it's no good yeah i am the worst person to ask for this like i said i did five years 
but you know he's no good, so what are you doing? Like sometimes, I don't know, cold turkey is probably the only thing I can say, like just cut them off, block, block, block. Like you know he's no good, he probably knows he's not treating you right. It's a situationship, who wants to be in a situationship? I think the best thing you can do is just go cold turkey, do you know what I mean, and get rid. But I know it's so hard though, when you're in it, you're in it. And like genuinely, all my friends, family, whatever used to tell me like, what the f are you doing? And I was just like, no, like sometimes he's nice. So yeah, cold turkey is my only thing for that one, but I also can't talk because I'm a hypocrite because I did it for five years. Been with my boyfriend a year and a half, but we live in different cities and need want to move, what do we do? Long distance can work sometimes because I feel like absence makes the heart grow fonder and you have a bit more to talk about. But then again, I don't know how that's gonna last forever because you live in different cities. So I don't know, if you if you think it's got legs, then maybe, I don't know, you have to have a serious conversation about compromise. But if you don't, then you're kind of just wasting each other's time anyway. So actually, both roads lead to sucking it off. Now have a chat, but if after the chat you guys are like, still no, then it's time to sack it off, unfortunately. Which is sad, but you know, could be worse, could be different countries, then that would be long for man. Is it bad that I am annoyed at my partner for not sending me good morning texts anymore? No, I don't think it is. Do you know what, yeah? I am a therapist, I've been since left Love Island, and she literally said to me, like, it doesn't matter about people's expectations in a relationship because, like, you want what you want, so you shouldn't be persecuted for doing that. But yeah, just tell them not good morning texts. If they're not gonna do it, they're not cutting the mustard. Do you know what I mean? I would then withdraw something for them, like, if you cook them dinner, maybe don't do that, or, I don't know, that's very petty. But I'm a very petty person, so. My boyfriend dumped me, now I feel like a prick right now, and I took him back when he was cheating. Oh, well. I believe in second chances and I feel like if you want to be with someone then just be with someone if you can put things to bed But for him dumping you then he is awful. There's not really much you can do Just please make sure you don't get back with him again Like he's just giving you the run around and no one's be given the run around, okay? No one wants that. But yes, I'm gonna conclude this video not because I want to because my camera's gonna die And I don't know where my camera charger is so I'm gonna have to order one before I do another YouTube video So yes, hope you guys enjoyed. I love doing these videos. I feel like I'm gonna try and do them monthly Or maybe something's coming who knows? But yes, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all soon.